How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brahalla for you guys today as always and today is an extra special video because we are going to do the copycat challenge. That's right. This is a challenge that I did one time I think way back like two or three years ago but it's been a long time. So basically this is how the copycat challenge works. I'm gonna go into a match and whatever legend my opponent is using I have to copy and pick that same exact legend in the next match. So I don't get to choose my legend. Basically, whoever I'm gonna fight, they're choosing the legend that I have to use for me. But for the very first game, we're just gonna go ahead and play random because that's as good as we can get on copying. And uh, looks like we got Stevani. That's cool. We got Val. Val's actually getting a crossover, another crossover skin tomorrow. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming to Brawlhalla. Super excited, cannot wait for that. Definitely look out for my video tomorrow because I'm gonna be playing all those new crossover skins. But today, I don't know what I'm gonna be playing because, <laughs> I, well, I guess I'm playing Jiro in the next match. <laughs> I'm just gonna be copying whatever my opponent's using. All right, so first game, we got Stevani. Okay, Jiro, I, I respect Jiro, and by the way, Jiro's also getting a crossover skin tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. Like, we both are, but, you know. Wow. There we go. I was gonna say, how did he stop my... My side stick going, ah, oh, my sock, like, fell off of my foot. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I have, I'm like, I, my sock literally came like halfway off my foot in real life and it, it like distracted me a bit. He likes to play off the edge, which I do respect. Ooh, that was nice. He also likes to play off the ceiling. I love that double uppercut he did. That was beautiful. Almost got the stock right there, but we're gonna get it right with that side sig. Such a weird signature, man. I, I literally split into two. Well, I hope I play Jiro better than that. GG, dude. GG, though. Feels bad. He was he was so scared of my ground pound, I think. He, he like, didn't touch the wall or something. All right, so we're going to play Jiro. Uh, I think he was using this skin. I don't have to copy the, ex the exact same skin, but I, you know what? Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Yeah, he was using Jiro the Specialist. All right. So I'll copy the skin, but we'll use different weapons. Uh, so there we go. All right. So I'm going to go eSports colors on this. We're gonna go, mm, could use Stevani's sword I just used. Oh, let's do Finn's sword, I love that sword. And then for the scythe, I'm thinking, shall we go? Actually, I do like the climbing gear. I know it looks kind of weird, but I like it because it just got some little bit of ice on the pick. Oh yeah, this sword looks so good with these colors. All right, so let's see which legend I get next. We're playing Jiro now. We do not know which legend we're going to be picking for next match, but we're about to find out. Next match, we are playing Mako. Okay. All right. I feel like everybody uses that Mako skin, though, so I might use a different skin on Mako. All right. Here we go. Jiro versus Mako. Copying the last opponent that I fought, who was using Jiro. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> he actually could have got back on the stage, but he waited way too long.
Uh oh, didn't mean to do that. Almost hit him with that. No, my dodge didn't come out. Oh my goodness, I tried to dodge back to the stage. I literally killed myself. Feels bad. Not a word. Not a problem. Not a problem. We got this. Boom. Boom. Make it go. Alright, see, Scythe is like underrated for the side side air. Side air alone gets me a lot of kills on Scythe. See what I mean? Okay, alright, he's fighting right back. Look at that. I gotta be careful because Zero only has two or three defense. I, I didn't actually look at what stance I'm using. Wow, Mako is legit. Wow, all right, final stocks, final stocks. Win or lose, I will play Mako next, next game, so it doesn't really matter. But if you wanna win the challenge, you do have to win using the copycat legend, so. GG, dude, GG. <laughs> he was dancing a little bit too much and attacking a little bit not enough, but <laughs> GG, dude, GG, well played. All right, so that means Actually, I do have a quest for Bow Legends, but oh well, we're gonna play Mako. Um, like I said, I, I'm not gonna use the skin he was using. I do have it, it's just like, I see those all the time. So my favorite Mako skin is Orca Mako, and I like to go gold forged. And so that's what we're gonna do. I think I'm gonna use the Dragon Tooth Katars, and uh, I, I like these two swords a lot. Especially the Dragon's Fury, just because I never see anybody using this great sword skin. It's, it's, I kind of feel like it's my great sword skin because I never see anybody use it. Alright, hopefully we can do a little bit better than that last Mako we fought did. Because so far, every single copycat challenge, we have been able to win. Alright, we're, we're winning with the legends that we just beat. And, and that actually proves a point in a way that, you know... The legend isn't bad, it's the player. You know what I mean? And not, I'm not trying to put down the players I just went against. I'm just trying to say, like, a lot of people say certain legends are bad or not bad. The legends aren't good or bad, it's the players, guys. Sure, some legends have better signatures than others. I'm not denying that. Some legends have better stats or whatever. Donk! And the disconnect feels bad. I didn't even get to use Mako, but that means we're using Nyx in our next match. All right, so I feel bad because we barely even got to play Mako, but rules are rules. We got the win, and so now I have to play as Nyx, and I will use Lockdown Nyx because that skin looks awesome, so let's just go ahead and reuse that skin that she was using. And the last game, feels bad that she disconnected, but it is what it is. One thing about going from like different legend to different legend is sometimes I do like get the signatures mixed up or I forget like who I'm playing as for a second. But it also like keeps me on my toes and helps me, you know, focus on the strengths and weaknesses of each particular legend. Going against Homolomo, that's kind of a funny name, but. Gotcha. Nice. Hold that. Oh man, I feel so rusty with the scythe right now. I don't know if it's because I've been playing other legends. Oh, he destroyed me right there. Oh my goodness. I'm looking forward to playing Azuri. I love Azuri's signatures. I love her weapons. This guy's really good. We're kind of we're kind of getting our butts kicked right now, but 
All right, all right, he's pretty good with the sword. I actually rarely see a gold for Azuri, so that's pretty cool. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those long drawn out battles because <laughs> it's so hard to hit him. And uh, it, it almost feels like I'm fighting myself in a way, like he plays a lot like how I play, which is why this is so hard for me to, to land a hit on him. Ooh, I fell down with him, and I don't think he expected that. I kind of just waited and then s until he got close enough, and then side light <laughs> or side air. Oh, hit him right into that mine. Calculated. I don't know if I'm better with the blasters or with the side. I feel like I'm better with blasters, but he's he's kind of kicking our butt. No matter what we use. Oh no. Oh my goodness, that was nice. He's making us look silly. We gotta try here. Oh, sorry, I had to blow my nose. I've been having a cold lately. All right, I'm on final stock. It's now or never. I gotta take two of his stocks. No way you're getting me with that jump. Oh, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. He made a mistake. We are bringing it back, baby. He finally made a mistake. He's human after all. That means he might make another one. If we keep the pressure on him, we might be able to win this. We were losing the entire game and now it's almost even. I might not be the best player, I might not be the most skilled, but one thing about me is I never give up. Like, even if I'm losing badly the whole game, I will just keep trying to win, keep adapting, keep learning my opponent's play style, and hopefully it works out. If not, you know, at least I tried. Oh my goodness, this is so close to death for either one of us. We're both in deep red. Almost had it. Oh, that's game. That's game. Oh, we brought it all the way back. Let's go. GG, dude, GG. That guy was super good. My goodness. All right, we're going to be playing Azuri. I am excited to play Azuri because I actually like playing Azuri. I'm going to go Apex Predator. Black. And, uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna change up the weapons. Let's give her the knives. And how about for the sword? Something, something very sharp looking. Mm. Actually, ooh, yes. How about the monofilament blade? I love this sword. Oh, yeah. Very sharp and scary looking, Azuri. All right, go to get menu as playing as Thatch. I love it. You hardly ever see somebody playing as Thatch. Yeah, here we are. All right, Azari versus Thatch. Interesting. I feel like I should win this, but Thatch has longer range weapons, but we both have sword. And then he has the blasters and the guitars. All right, he, <laughs> he didn't want to start right away. Wait, don't die so fast. Let me help you back up. Let's fight up on the stage. Oh yeah. Whenever I have Katars going against a blaster legend, I always feel like I have the advantage because it's so easy to get like up close on them and it's hard for them to get you off. You know, they could only do like a down light. Sword is another story. Oh my goodness, I still hit him with that. I don't know how, but I did. We take it. Man, Apex Azuri with the hunting knives. That looks so scary. <laughs> Let's go. Three stock, question mark. By the way, I had people asking about this stage in the last video. It's just a map mod. Woo! Anybody can download it. Go to GameBanana.com. Oh, he kept jumping right near the edge. So I knew I was going to dunk him. 
Uh, GameBanana.com and then just search for Brahalla. This is the final destination map. That was almost a gimp. It would have been crazy. Can we get the three stock? At this point, I might as well go for it. I think he can tell what we're trying to do. He can sense it. He doesn't want to get three stocked. He's trying to deny us the three stock. Oh, so close. GG. Oh my goodness. GG, dude. That <laughs> we hit him with the spike ball right to the face. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I cannot wait for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover tomorrow. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.